have you always been a sexual person? Yes, definitely. Um, when I was um, younger, like I was just always masturbating <laughs> and um, I always wanted to have sex like in high school and stuff. I didn't really have like a lot of um, like romantic in like interests. Um, well, I, I did, but it was very unrequited in terms of like crushes in school. But I was someone who was like always like, I was like, I really couldn't like, couldn't not wait to get fucked. Like I was just very excited to experience that next stage of um growing up and when I first had sex at at 18 I kind of just kind of like I did it to with the person I did it with just to kind of like open the doors and just to get myself going and then I uh, fucked way too many people <laughs> but but <laughs> um, it brought me here so that's uh, that's wonderful I made some mistakes along the way but um, I just kind of was like ready to get going yeah I I can relate I remember when I lost my virginity I it was just to like do it. You know what I mean? It, there was such a buildup to it and all my friends had already lost their virginity. So I've, I've talked about lo the lost my virginity story. It's not very interesting. And it was to a guy who did not deserve it. Yeah, um, but, nice. uh, yeah, you know, I mean, you got to start somewhere, I guess. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and you grew up in like a pretty sex positive household. Is that right? Yeah. My mom was always very, um, like, I mean, looking back at it, I'm like, sometimes I'm like, okay, maybe she could have approached things a little bit differently, but she was always very open with us about like, hey, if you guys watch porn, that's cool. And she she was came to me like when I was young and was like, hey, just so you know, like if there's like a spot, like it was very big. She's like, there's mm -hmm. a spot you can touch that makes you feel really good. And I was like, okay, cool. Um, and I've been masturbating every day ever since. Um, <laughs> but like, I mean, there's definitely some, I think, more communication that could have happened, but I think she was doing um, the best that she could at the time um, when I was growing up. So I appreciate that a lot. Yeah. I mean, you know, being a mother now and also growing up in a sex positive household, I definitely, you know, I'm grateful for the fact that we have so many more tools and information at our disposal to teach our kids about sexuality in a healthy and, and positive way. Um, what do you think? were some of the things that you might have done differently or like how do you see the approach of teaching someone about sexuality in a healthy way now with all the information that you have I think I mean if I had to change it I think giving me a little bit more information on like why like things were happening that way mm -hmm. and like why this feels good and what context and maybe some also like more like talks about like my relationships to potentially other people and also my like relationship to like sexy internet media. Um, mm -hmm. That would be, I think really helpful. Cause I think that was kind of like something I had a lot of shame about like watching porn um, and specifically like watching like a lot of like queer porn, because that was something that I was like, wait, like I typically growing up, I had a lot of crushes on guys, but I would like, masturbate to like lesbian porn which I feel like is like that's very standard for a lot of women and if like not that my mom would have had like the answers to that at all but I kind of like if I was to you know impart some information onto a growing person I would kind of guide them in a way that would give them tools to understand those types of relationships um because yeah even though I wasn't really like again I was pretty I didn't have any boyfriends growing up but it would still have been nice to like understand just a little bit more rather than like oh by the way if you touch yourself it feels nice but like a little bit more context behind that right yeah and I mean I mean you're obviously younger than me so you grew up in a different era than I did because the internet didn't exist when I was growing up so my parents didn't have to worry about me I mean to be fair, I used to steal like, you know, because my parents were pornographers. So I, the content was literally at home, Yeah. <laughs> but it was like in the office, which was at the guest house. It was like locked in the office, but like I knew where the key was. Yeah, so, yeah. but you know, the only things that I would have access to is mostly magazines, which mm -hmm. is so tame compared to like what kids can get these days. Absolutely. And you know, some like we, <laughs> VHS tapes. That's, that was my first porn experience was a VHS tape and, and same thing, like pretty tame stuff, mm -hmm. um, compared to, you know, what's out there now. I mean, what do you think, what do you think about like this, you know, how to navigate this new internet age of porn? 
um, for young people? Oh my gosh. That's like such a loaded question. Um, yeah, it's like expansive. So I feel like there's kind of no right way, but there's like so many wrong ways of dealing mm -hmm. with teaching youth about the media that they're consuming. And I don't know, I feel like parents are going to mess up regardless, but I guess just, just talking to people, talking to like their children about it, I guess the most important thing, just being like, Hey, you're going to probably see some things that like aren't realistic like depictions of sexual experiences. Um, but even beyond that, like even with like TikTok and um, like even like place like, I don't know, Twitch communities. And like, um, if you think of, yeah, discords and like, just there's so many different types of online interaction now. And it's not just like the media that you're consuming, but it's also the people you're talking to and the relationships um, that you're forming. And because I think of a lot of people my age, like I'm 27, a lot of people like in my age range are like, oh, I had a really weird experience on the internet talking to a stranger and having some kind of like weird sexual experience at a young age with like someone they didn't know online through some weird chat room. And I think that stuff is definitely still happening, but maybe even in like more obvious areas of existence, just because so many youth these days are like very visible online. So it's like, of course, there's going to be like, you know, other people who are like interested in that, whether it be in their age range or just the creepy adults. Like, I think that kind of area needs to be like explored and talked about as well in also like with the porn conversation, because I don't know, like anything could be horny <laughs> realistically. And um, a lot of people make things horny, especially when you're sharing that types of media. Yeah. I mean, I think for the first part is that I think, you know, and I think about this obviously more now that I'm a parent is that is to not bury our head in the sand, right? And just pretend like porn on the internet doesn't exist mm -hmm. and that our kids would never look at that stuff. Like start there, right? Acknowledge that it's there. And then, and then open up the discussion to how do you teach your, you know, talk to your kids about that in like a healthy, positive way. And there are resources out there for that. Mm -hmm. There are people who specialize in that. I actually interviewed um, a woman named Justine Angfonte, who specifically teaches porn literacy to youth, like I think high schoolers. Um, and obviously she doesn't show them porn, um, but she's able to discuss it in a way where they kind of like get context behind it, um, you know, and understand about it just being a fantasy and understand it in relationships to like real life um, <clears throat> interactions. So I think, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, start with education, right? Because if you just like refuse to talk to your kids about it and you just let them like discover it on their own, then, you know, you're liable to have issues there. So Absolutely. like, let's, 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 let's try to talk about it. Let's try to be open about it.